Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today, I'll be discussing the product of sum and difference of two binomials. In this case, we will going to multiply two binomials with certain characteristics which will lead to a special product called difference of two squares without actually performing the distributive property of multiplication. So what is special about these two binomials? The two given takes this form, the quantity a plus b times the quantity a minus b. Meaning to say, these two binomials are almost alike. The only difference is that one of them contains an operation plus, while the other one contains the operation minus. If this is the case, all you have to do is to square each term of our given and separate them using a minus sign. To verify this, let us use the distributive property of multiplication. Just to verify if we will get the same answer here. a times a, we have a squared. a times negative b, the answer is negative because one of these is positive while the other one is negative. The product is ab. Next is positive b times positive a. Both are positive, let's put plus. Product is ab. Lastly, positive b times negative b, they differ in sign, and so we just put minus sign, product is b squared. As you can see on our result here, we have similar terms, negative ab plus ab. Since they differ in sign, we will subtract these two, the result becomes zero. So what remains now are a squared minus b squared. You see, we just got the same result above. This a squared minus b squared is an example of a difference of two squares. From the name itself, both of the terms are perfect square and they are separated by a minus sign. So remember, to multiply two binomials of this form, almost alike, one contains plus, the other one contains minus, the result is also a binomial, operation is always minus, for the first term, all we have to do is to square the first term of our given. And if these two binomials, they are just the same in the first term. For our second term, we will square the second term of our given. Let's practice. For our first example, we have the quantity x plus 3 times the quantity x minus 3. As you can see here, they are almost alike. One is plus, while the other one is minus. Setting up a binomial, putting a minus sign between them, Square the first term, we have x squared. Squaring the second term, we have 3 squared. And the square of 3 is 9. The answer, therefore, is x squared minus 9. We got it easily without applying the distributive property of multiplication. Let's have another example. The quantity 2y plus 7 times the quantity 2y minus 7. Almost the same. One is plus, while the other one is minus. So the shortcut will work here, setting up a binomial, putting a minus sign, squaring the first term we have the square of 2y. So we must square 2 and also y. Squaring we have 4y squared. Square of 2 is 4, while the square of y is y squared. For our second term we square 7, 7 squared, and the square of 7 is 49. Therefore, the result is 4y squared minus 49. For our third example, let's have the quantity z squared minus 4b times the quantity z squared plus 4b. Almost alike, one is minus while the other one is plus. In this case, the order of the operations interchange. But there is no problem with that. We can still use the shortcut for as long as one is plus while the other one is minus. Setting up a binomial, putting a minus sign, the square of the first term z squared squared is z raised to 4. That is the same as z squared times z squared. While for our second term, we have the square of 4b. Square of 4 is 16, while the square of b is b squared. Therefore, the answer is z raised to 4 minus 16b squared. For our math trick, we can actually use the shortcut using numbers. Considering 103 times 97. If you notice, these two numbers meet halfway at 100. What I mean to say is that 103 exceeds 100 by 3, while 97 lacks 3 
to get 100. So these two numbers can be expressed as 100 plus 3 for 103, 100 minus 3 for 97. Now this 2 takes the form x plus y times x minus y. Therefore, we can use the shortcut. The shortcut now is 100 squared minus 3 squared. Squaring 100, that is very easy. All we have to do is to double the number of zeros. The result is 10,000. Squaring 3, we have 9. Now, finally, subtracting this, we have 9,991. So, if you have calculators there, you may also use the calculator of your cell phone. Check if the product of these two is really 9991 now for your turn i want you to pause this video for a while to answer these three problems after answering them click play so that you can check your answers here are the correct answers for the first one we have a squared minus 36 for the second one we have 9b squared minus 1. I hope you got this one. The square of 1 is still 1. That is 1 times 1. For our third, we have c raised to 6 minus 25d squared. The square of c cubed is c raised to 6. That is c cubed times c cubed. I hope you got that one too. Now for your last task, try to multiply this 22 times 18 within 10 seconds. Timer starts now. The correct answer is 396. I hope you got that product. But let us explain what happened there. In 22 times 18, these two numbers meet halfway at 20. Therefore, we can express them as 20 plus 2 for 22, while 20 minus 2 for 18. Now, this takes the form x plus y times x minus y. We can now use the shortcut. Square the first term, 20 squared, minus the square the second term, 2 squared. Now, squaring 20, that is 20 times 20. Squaring 2 is 4. Now, double the number of zeros, we have 400. Minus the square of 2, which is or the answer when we subtract these two is 396.